Welcome back to another episode of the Small Town RP right here in SnowRunner. Now, we're going to jump into this one actually pretty quickly because we have a job to do up in town. Now, one of the shops up in town actually needs some tires picked up and taken across town to the dealership. There's an order that they need filled, and apparently the person that was going to pick them up never showed up, and so we need to go pick them up. So what we did was we actually put the forks on the skid steer, and we're going to use that to pick these tires up because they're already like, you know, they're already in crates. They're not like just sitting out. They're not loose tires. They're ready for us to, to get them. They literally just have to be picked up. So we're going to grab the gooseneck because obviously we need the space for all of these tires plus the skid steer. So that's why we're going to use the gooseneck for this particular job. I know that sometimes you would think that, oh, you're going to take the skid steer. You'd use the pull behind. And normally I would if I was doing like, you know, land clearing work or something like that. But when I'm doing something a little bit more in depth or something where I have a little bit more cargo or cargo that I specifically need to haul, we need to take this thing. And as a matter of fact, I've been thinking about getting an even longer, even wider gooseneck for even bigger jobs because that would open up even more opportunities for us. So let's get this all ready and lined up. Throw those ramps down and let's run on over there, grab the skid steer and throw it on the trailer. Let's get these forks off the ground real quick. There we go. And, oh my god, come on. Move, thank you. Now, I'll probably just... I'll probably just throw this thing in the middle of the trailer, or I might put the weight over the axles. I'm not sure. I gotta see how the truck kind of responds to it. Uh-oh. All right, I need more beans to get up this. Come on. Oh, no. It is not happy. Come on. Oh, it is so unhappy with this. Okay. Uh, how about we try this again? Let's get a little bit of a run-up. Running start. Come on. There we go. Just needed a little bit more oomph, and it was good to go. All right. We'll park it just ahead of the forwardmost axle. We'll put the forks down. And we'll just go ahead and secure it right there. We'll let it chill. No big deal. Let's go ahead and pack it up. We'll get the ramps back up off the ground. And then now, we just got to make our way out to town where Shop A is because we need to pick up the tires and take them to Shop B, a.k.a. the dealership, on the other side of town. But, you know, jobs like this, they're quick. We can knock them out. And they actually get us a pretty good payout. So they are absolutely worthwhile to do. Now, I know I've been running the same rigs for a while now. And I'm thinking about whether or not I want to. And I know some of y'all might get a little bit upset about this. But I'm starting to debate whether or not I want to trade this GMC in for something else. Because we've had it for a while. We've built up some budget. We have the opportunity to potentially, like, if we trade this in, we have the opportunity to get something really 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 sick if we want to all right so here's the shop that we're pulling up to and it looks like yep it looks like they've got the tire crates already laid out for us oh that's ow that's beautiful that's actually super easy to go ahead and handle so really all we need to do is we need to handle that and then just make our way on back to uh the dealership or really out to not back to because we really aren't going back to it at all. We're just going to it in the first place because we haven't been there yet today. All right, let me get the trailer lined up where I would like it. And that's that's close enough to where I feel like I need it. Well, mm, I'm a little bit worried about that pole. Let me back it up just a hair. There we go. That should be good enough. Unpack. Ramps down. Shut the truck off. And then now we got to get to work with the skid steer with the fork attachment. So let's also, let's lift y'all up real quick while we're going down. Not bad. That was some, that was some top tier, like, control. All right. Got to squeeze in here. Okay, now let's see how our tight area control is. It's probably not going to be great at all. Uh, but don't worry about that. Uh, back it up or, or not. Wow, all right. This is not playing out the way I had intended. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, um, we don't have enough room to load that one. So, we're going to load one of these other ones first. Can we get the forks under there? That's my... That's my question. Because I know they... No. Oh, my God. Bring them all the way down. There we go. I was like, I know they... They 
they widen and narrow, but are they going to be able to get low enough? And I don't know if they will, because I've already got them, you know, max low that they'll go. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. I needed the tilt function. For whatever reason, the tilt function wasn't working earlier. Ah, uh, just little things, I guess, sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and... No, let's tilt you back in. And now bring you up. We're going to have to level you just a little bit. As we bring these up, we have to level them. All right, do not put it in the dumpster. We got to put this on the trailer. The trailer is where it needs to be, not the dumpster. And this is making me very glad that I have the uh, the weight on the back. The weight is going to help me out quite a bit here. Oh, jeez. All right, now's where we got to be very, very careful. Let's just gently bring you on down. That's close enough to the middle. This doesn't have to be perfectly perfect, but, like, I would like it to be, you know, at least semi-okay. Let's back you out of there. And we've got the forks out, and we're good to go. Okay, so now we just got to do that a few more times, and that'll get us where we need to be. Now, oh my god, I probably shouldn't have spun around that fast. That was a little, uh, that was a little exuberant. Like, that, that was a little ahead of myself. Okay, let's bring you down just a hair. Okay, forks are on the ground. Or at least the front of the forks are. Ooh, easy. This is not, like, as easy as you might think. Okay, here we go. And I'm sure that there's going to be people out there in the comments that are going to be like, what do you mean? That's, that's like the easiest thing you can do in SnowRunner. You're just bad. And I'm like, well, you know, to be fair, that may be the case. I might just be terrible at it. But I'm, I'm getting better the more that I do it. All right, let's bring you on over here. And center you. Oh my god, see, it can jump to one side very quickly, very quickly, and when it jumps like that on you, it's a little disconcerting, because you have to, like, make sure that you don't let it do that, um, at the wrong time. Oh my god, alright, back it up. Eh, that's not great. Alright, hold on. We're gonna do some slight adjustments to that. We're gonna push that back to where I want it, because that's not, that's, that's not gonna work. What in the, okay, stop, 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 stop. Alright, push it. What? We're too high! Okay. Yeah, this is going well. This is going so well. There you go. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it, and that's that's gonna be that. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Now, these last two are annoying because... Oh, wait. Oh, we probably can. We can probably pick them up from the side, because if we can pick them up from the side, then that'll be way better. Way better for us. Forks back to... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Forks down. Okay. And as long as they can slink right underneath the crates... They'll be okay. Well, they're kind of in a sketch spot right now because you're technically not supposed to pick them up from the side like that. And, like, they'll go under it, but they don't want to do it in a way that... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is grand. This is delightful. I'm... Holy crap. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All right. Can I... You know what? I'm gonna pull you, like, out of here and see if I can just get you over to somewhere where I can actually pick you up. Okay, I spun it a little bit, and now I can approach it from this side, spin it this way, back up, approach it again, and I think this time we might actually have it figured out. Well, I say we might have it figured out. I, I don't actually know if that's going to be the case or not, but bring you down. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're good. No, no. No, no, no. Stop, stop. G good grief. All right, forks under. Boom. Now, ah, bring it up. Cool. Okay. Level it, level it. Done. I'm, you know what? 
That works for me. That's close enough, and it works for me, and I am down for that. Okay, so this one I'm not necessarily going to uh, worry as much about getting perfect. I'm just going to bring it down, and I'm going to put it wherever it lands, and that's going to be that. And now we're going to go ahead and... No! Stop turning! There we go. There we go. Actually, we were able to put it a little bit closer to where we wanted it. Okay, you know what? At the end of the day, that's that's not the worst thing that could have happened. Definitely not the worst thing that could have happened, actually. All right. So, let me bring the forks back up. I said back up proceeds to put them down. I know that someone's going to yell at me. It's fine. All right. Spin you this way. Don't hit the building. Okay. Wow, we missed the building. Absolute professional. Not really. And on the ground. Okay. Now just squeeze it under the pallet. And boom, it's good to go. Oh, that was our best one yet. Beautiful. Now we're going to have to drive this way a little bit to avoid, like, scraping on the building. But then we can just go ahead and spin around. And bring you back this way, and this should be all that we need to do. I say as I run into their loading dock, don't worry about their loading dock. Their loading dock will be fine. And actually, oh, you know what? I'll load this one from back here because we're going to have to put the, um, the skid steer back on the trailer as well. So let me bring you forward, or rather backwards so I can bring you forward. Slight running start. Oh, I can't. Okay, you know what? With the weight being that high, I can't do that. Ooh, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Up you go. Okay, stop. Now, this is where things get interesting. This is where things get very, very interesting. Because I might have to stack. I didn't want to stack. I didn't want to do any stacking with this at all. Stacking was, like, the last thing I wanted to do. But you know what? We're close enough to kind of make a stack work. So, can we back up? Don't you even think about it. Oh, my God. It is sitting there. Don't you even think about it. Holy smokes. All right. Ugh. Stop. Can I even get back up? No. Oh, my God. I'm going to need a running start to even get back up there. Okay. This got... This, 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 this turned into something. This turned into an entire scenario. Like, I am... And off it... Well... Do those have winch points? Like, I'm kind of curious now. Do they have winch points? <gasps> they do! Yes! I don't know how much good this is going to do me, but... And we're... Good? Enough? And somehow they pack? Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. And after a little bit of back and forth and a little bit of sketchiness, we finally got everything up there. We got it all packed. It's not pretty, but it's gonna get there and it's gonna be okay. I'm not, you know, the most proud of the way it looks up there, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with it because obviously, you know, we are still gonna get paid for this job. We are still gonna finish it. It's just not my best looking effort of all time, and I am, you know, I'm I'm willing to go ahead and admit that right here. Um, and I will also definitely do a better job next time. Uh, doing a better job next time at something like this is definitely on my list of things to do because one of those tire crates isn't even fully on the trailer. Don't tell anybody that. Uh, I hope they don't see that when we pull up to the dealership, but that's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to, I'm at least I'm going to try to not worry about that because it, you know, it worries me a little. It worries me sometimes, but it's fine. I'm just going to not worry about that whatsoever. It's fine. It's all fine.
it's all good. Now. Ease it on through, and... Oh, jeez. Ah! I think we can make it in through the... Through the... Ugh, through the front route, I think. I don't know why I couldn't talk for a second. Uh, momentum and winching. God, this dealership really needs to work on their driveway. They need a full redo, I'll tell you that. All right, we should be able to drive the rest of the way ourselves. I got the tires y'all ordered. They're fine. They're not they're not muddy, they're not damaged. They're 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 completely fine. They're all good. I'm going to drop them off out back. Yep, don't worry about it. Just, uh, you know, uh, pay me for the job. It's all good. And, and please hire me again. Please! But, you know, we're gonna go ahead and grab the skid steer, unload these, and then, um, well, collect payment for delivering them. But, hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Small Town RP, and I'll see you all in the next one.